Hello friends, this is Claude Film for uh, I'm in Sydney Harbour right now. I'm going to turn the camera around. There are about 90 degrees so you can see the view here. This is fantastic. So the, the message today is something that I got from Toastmasters yesterday where this man said that why is it so many people actually know what they need to do yet they don't do what it takes to uh, get to where they want. So they are literally stuck here in this point. Imagine my hand is a person standing in front and they know what they have to do and they ask their family and friends their the, the family and friends opinions hey should I should I become a carpenter for example or should I take up marketing or should I become a doctor and the family and friends say hey don't do that that is not like you you are going to fail why do family and friends say this they say this because they probably know you better than yourself uh, from your past experience from their past experiences of you you know so you may have changed but for your past experiences, all they can go by and they say, hey, listen, you will fail if you get to do that. And you're gonna fall flat on your face. Imagine my, this person falls flat on their face and their head is now about six, five feet away from where they were standing. Just imagine that. So if you did go ahead and did you persevere, you would definitely fail, definitely fall. But imagine when you fall forward, and when you rise, you are actually four or five feet ahead of where you were initially. So I suggest if you are thinking of planning to uh, try something different, go ahead and do it. Don't ask your family and friends for their opinion because they are stuck in a place that you were stuck a few seconds ago. And if you want to move forward, don't ask people that, that are stuck in, in their ways or quite happy with what they're doing. Find people who are moving in the direction where you're going or where you want to go. That's my advice to you. That's what I am using every day to motivate me to move to the next step. This is something I learned from a guy called Darren, at, from a, a, an American that came and spoke to us at Toastmasters. Amazing, amazing guy. And he failed many times being a comedian, many times as being a speaker. Yet he won the World Championship at Toastmasters in 1991. So a failure can become a champion, so can you, so can me. I hope I've inspired you to go ahead and try something new. Have fun. Go and fail.